you start seeing like the 9, the 10, the 11, you're like a little bit taken aback because I feel like back in the day this would have been 5k or less, but would you pay $20,000 for this Bottega bag, guys? Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. If you love shopping and handbag videos, please like and subscribe to my channel. Okay, guys, so today I wanted to talk about bags that I have not checked the price on in a while and that shocked me with the price. I know that Prada had like a significant price increase recently because I'm, I don't usually follow brands pricing, but I did buy a Prada crystal bag like last year and I noticed it went up over a thousand dollars in only a year, probably due to the popularity of Prada and especially the crystal bag line. The bags like the Prada Gallerina bag, Galleria bag, I always thought were on the more affordable side and I think it's because I look at the pre-love market a lot and I noticed them for like a thousand dollars or less so I just assumed it was a more affordable bag from Prada I know silly me but I was looking at the Prada website yesterday and I was shocked to see that the large Prada Galleria bag in Saffiano leather is 6,800 Australian dollars. I'll put up the US equivalent to that on the screen too, because I know a lot of you guys from the US, but I did not realize that this bag was 6,800 Australian dollars. Like, I always assumed this bag was like $3,000 or less. Maybe it used to be like five years ago, but it has it is really expensive. I was shocked to see the price. Now, I haven't heard good things about Prada leather as well. I've heard it wears really badly. Uh, one of my friends had a Prada bag and all the gold hardware chipped off really fast within a few uses. So I don't know whether the quality of Prada is that justified to the price, to be honest. But I know that the Prada logo is very iconic. And, well, I mean, are people buying this bag for that much? Is that, I mean, because this was kind of a bag that was hot, like, a while back. But... I guess it is a classic bag for Prada. I just didn't realize it cost this much. Perhaps it's popular with people for who want like a classic bag for work. Let me know guys, do you have a Prada bag and do you think the leather is uh, justified to this price? Because I don't know, I just didn't realize it cost that much. So that's the first bag. Second bag, I went on the Lueve website yesterday and I sorted it from high to low just pretending I'm a rich person and I found this really interesting bag that looked very minimalistic to me it's called the lantern bag in box car skin guys guess how much this costs like it looks very fancy I'm not gonna lie and it has this like little miniature lantern badge thingy on the front a really gorgeous clasp giving me grandma vintage vibes and I mean, in the best way, like just a little like cute purse and then you open it up and it's got this like very interesting detail, like a mirror. And apparently I was reading the description and it, there's actually a light switch under inside the bag where you can flick a switch and the little light turns on inside the bag so you can see the inside of your bag. I mean, how cool is that, guys? Like a bag with an installed light. So when I read that, I'm like, this got to be expensive. And well, the price is 14,500 Australian dollars. Yes, I know. But I mean, given it has a light, but like it literally has a light inside the bag. I think that's kind of cool. So the lantern bag is a tribute to a handbag called the Stita Light On, which we believe was created in 1953 by LFW Streeter, Loewe's approach to revitalizing this design is yet another example of the house's commitment to celebrating historical feats of craftsmanship in a modern context. So yeah, they've grabbed a vintage bag and put light bulbs in it to make it modern, which I think is actually kind of cool. And I noticed that Loewe, um, you know, some they're very innovative. I feel like Loewe are very futuristic with their design like they don't always look at other design houses to make new bags I mean sometimes you could argue like their puffy bags are a little bit inspired or their woven bags but like things like the puzzle bag or um like this I feel like it's quite unique like I don't think any other brands do this really or like even like a bunny like that's quite unique so I do like how Loewe are very futuristic and in their design process and this bag does inspire me I'm not gonna lie guys so if I was super rich yes I would buy this lantern bag I think it is pretty awesome and like to be able to like look inside your bag and turn a light on I mean that's kind of cool but I was shocked at the price I'm not gonna lie next bag guys is this big baskety bag from Bottega now we all know that Bottega 
okay, I'm not going to say it right, intricato leather, intricato leather, the woven leather, you know what I'm saying, guys, is expensive. Like, on the pre-love market, it doesn't hold value for some reason, but from the store, is it is expensive, and from you know, the last year or so, Bottega has had a really big price increase compared to like two years ago as well. Um, and I saw this bag on the website. I thought it was quite, you know, it's quite simple. It's just this kind of like basket shape with a pouch inside. It is rather big and it looks quite detailed in the weave. But when I saw the price, guys, $20,250, I'm a little bit shocked. Like, would you pay $20,000 for this Bottega bag, guys? Like, and who is buying it? Like, it must be some real, I mean, there must be some real diehard Bottega fans out there, surely. And it does look really interesting, especially when you zoom in on the leather. I mean, it is quite detailed. But, I mean, $20,000, like, wow. There's not even much information on it on the website. It just says medium kabar, kabat bag, kabar bag, natural mix camel and it's coming soon so if you want to order that guys um go ahead because um well click the notify me button because you have to um be notified to purchase that if you like next bag is from celine now admittedly guys i have not looked at celine pricing in a really long time for some reason celine doesn't ever grab me in terms of the handbags i love the clothes i love the runway shows i love the whole vibe I'm like, oh my gosh, I want to look like that. Like, just the whole look of Celine, I love. Like, especially what Eddie has done with Celine, I quite like it. Um, I know a lot of people preferred old Celine, but I actually like the new vibe. But I will say that they're bags. Like, I've never been super into Celine bags. I don't know why, guys. Like, it's just never been the top of my priority. So I've never really looked at the pricing that detailed. And I was looking at one of their new bags, and I was a little bit shocked at the price. Not to say that it's not worth it, but the new Celine Conti bag in supple calfskin, you know, this big tote with a buckle, kind of reminds me of, like, an old Burberry bag that had, like, a belt buckle on it. But, yeah, I don't know. It's just, like, this big leather... Like, it's... I think it's fully leather-lined and everything. Like, it's a big calfskin lambskin line tote so yeah i mean it does look expensive but it's nine thousand four hundred australian dollars i mean i just didn't realize celine was that expensive for like a leather bag i know they have some exotic bags as well but i don't know just like when you start seeing like the nine the ten the eleven you're like a little bit like taken aback because i feel like back in the day this would have been 5k or less but yeah would you pay nine thousand dollars for this celine bag guys i feel like it's a little bit steep for because, like, yeah, you can't charge that much if you're Chanel or Hermes, to be honest, because they have more brand power. Or, you know, they have more of a... They kind of can, but I don't know if it'd be easy to sell a $9,000 Celine black tote bag. Like, I don't know. Let me know, guys. Um, and then last bag that kind of shocked me a little bit, but not too much, is this new Dior bag that looks like a cute little purse. Again, similar vibe to the Loewe one. Um, there is a little video on the Dior website showcasing the craftsmanship, like he's kind of sewing it together. I'm not sure if the inside of this bag is fabric, it very may, may well be, but it's made of this like very luxurious looking smooth leather. It's called the pil a Pillar of Spring Summer 2023 fashion show. Um, it's called the Dior Key Bag, if you want to know. So it's a new style from Dior in a black box calf. Um, and yeah, it's giving me vintage vibes. Uh, made in Italy. Uh, now this bag, it is quite expensive. It's 8000 Australian dollars. Like, I don't know, guys. Like, I don't know what I was expecting, but I was kind of shocked when I saw the price. I'm like, whoa, $8,000. But then looking at all the, all the other Dior bags on the website, Dior has gone up a lot in price. Admittedly, I have not looked at the Dior website in like maybe a year or so. And yeah, I was just a little bit shocked at this price. I was like, $8,000, like, again, that's going to be a hard bag to sell. But it is very classy looking. I mean, it would be nice if it's leather interior as well. I'm not sure if it is. It could be just a fabric because it is a little bit of a simple looking bag. And I mean, for $8,000, I, I don't know, guys. I don't know if this would be most people's first choice, but it is kind of a bag that is very on trend at the moment. I would rather just go for a vintage bag because that is literally like the look of this bag or even like a Ferragamo bag because they have a lot of vintage vibe bags as well. Like for example, the Icon Top Handle bag, which is only $4,000. 
Australian. I'd rather go for that than pay 8,000 at Dior, but I don't know guys. Let me know. Do you think that this bag is worth it as well? Anyways, thanks for watching my uh, video today. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll talk to you guys on my next one. Bye!